Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm sharing an updated skincare video of all of my holy grail products that have helped me over the last few months deal with another acne flare up. Adult acne is the worst, hormonal acne is the worst, and mentally it was such a hard time. To give you a little bit of background, in my last few skincare videos, I showed you all the products that helped me get my skin from this to this. And since then, my skin was doing pretty well, so I had a maintenance phase where I was getting pimples here or there or during my time of the month. So I'll show you all the products that I loved. In February of this year, I had stopped the birth control that I was originally on and my hormones went crazy again. My acne came back instantly. Overnight, cheeks flared up and it just got worse and worse. I thought that I could heal it naturally, but it just wasn't the time. So I have gone on a new birth control and it's helped me reduce the amount of acne that I get. I still have more breakouts than I used to, so these products help me target my active breakouts, blackheads, whiteheads, and then also all of the scarring, the texture, the hyperpigmentation, and the redness that's left afterwards. The one thing I do want to preface is going back on birth control to regulate my hormones really helped reduce the amount of acne that I was getting. These products really helped diminish the existing acne that I had, but then more would pop up every single day. Like I would go to bed and I'd wake up and you know, all of my acne that I had had was diminishing, but then there would be new acne. So it was like a constant vicious cycle. So if you're dealing with hormonal acne, I really recommend going to your family doctor, to a dermatologist, or looking into ways to regulate your hormone levels. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. A lot of this is topical. So I'm gonna walk you through all these products in the same steps as my skincare routine. It's very similar AM and PM. I'll leave everything in the description box with links and then I'll also tell you what I use AM and PM. First thing, double cleansing, can't stress it enough. I have switched over to this Clean It Zero Ceramide Cleansing Balm, and this has worked wonders. It really helps me not only remove my makeup, my skincare, but it really gets into the pores. I rub it in for a solid 45 seconds to a minute. This is the oil cleanser that I originally recommended, and I had loved this for so many years. I think the formula has changed on this because there's fragrance in it now, which there didn't used to be, and I'm not a huge fan of that. So it's still great in terms of you know it works really well but i don't really like using fragrance products on my skin so i have since switched over to this one i'm still gonna get through this because i don't like wasting product but this is my new holy grail and it's by vanilla co and then the second part of double cleansing is the cleanser so i still love the Cosarex. Uh, low pH good morning gel cleanser. I also switched to the Sun By Me acne cleanser. I think it's the foam one for a while when my acne was really bad. Next up is toners. I do have a lot here to show you, but hear me out. In my maintenance phase, I loved this one. This is actually a recommendation by one of you. It's the Numbuzin toner, the super glowing essence. And this really helped with my radiance and my texture. I found that this really helped reduce the look of my pores, which helps with texture. So in my maintenance phase, I would use this daily, day and night. And then once a week, I would use the Crave Beauty Kilalilia. The AHA and BHAs are chemical exfoliators, so they help with removing dead skin, reducing your sebum, with helping your acne. But now, because I have more of these active breakouts, I'm switching back to my OG. Talked about this in my last skincare video. It's the 30 Day Miracle Toner. I use this AM, PM every single day. You can also do this combo, but I do find that this is a bit stronger than this one. So I wouldn't use this every single day. It would really dry out your skin, but this one I can use every day. So those are the differences there. The other new thing I've used, I picked this up in Korea when I was there. This is like the number one thing at Olive Young. It's the Abib Heartleaf Spot Pad. And what I loved about this is it really helps calm redness. So with me, my cheeks are where I get most of my acne and they would be super inflamed, especially at night. I put one on each cheek and then I leave it on. What I love about this is that the pads are also organic. One side is a gauzy material and one side is a smooth side. So I like that with the gauzy side, it acts as a gentle exfoliant once I kind of like gently massage and wipe away. So this has been really helpful, especially if you have redness. After toner, I go in with my eye cream. I've been really liking this ginseng eye cream. I find this one super hydrating and it helps me a little bit with my puffiness. That's about it. 
<laughs> they're more preventative than anything when you're younger so you can skip that if you want to after the toners come serums i'm back to my ogs which is the ordinary's niacinamide and alpha arbutin niacinamide for blemishes and pore control alpha arbutin for helping with reducing hyperpigmentation most of my friends are great with these two some of them found this a bit too strong so if you have a bit more sensitive skin what i would recommend using is the axis y spot the difference this one also has niacinamide but it's a little bit less and then it has AHA, BHAs, and also turpin oil. So as you can see, it's completely empty. But with this one, you can either use it just as a spot treatment, or if you have problem areas, I would do a little bit on my cheeks and then my nose. But I find that this one is effective, but it's less strong than the ordinary one. I tried the Caudalie Vino Perfect for a while for my hyperpigmentation. It's okay, but I don't think it's worth the price. I had it laying down, but you can see that I'm almost done it. What I would use and recommend instead is the Axis Wide Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This one's way cheaper. And this one also has niacinamide, but also squalane and fruit extracts. I did see a reduction in my dark spots, but I would use these two. The other thing I was influenced to try was the La roche Posay Effaclair Duo. It has salicylic acid, so it would be very drying. So what I do is use this as a spot treatment once a day. I apply it to my spots or to problem areas, especially on my nose for my blackheads. This one works fairly well, but I would say I've never been a huge fan of salicylic acid. I find that niacinamide and all the other products that I'll share later helps more. So I use a lot of those as spot treatments for my problem areas. And by spot treatment, I don't just do like a dot. I usually have clusters of acne, so I'll put it everywhere. If I have really prominent big acne, I will use these. I find these way better than the Cozyrex pimple patches. They come with more and I find that they're more effective overnight. These are the number one bestsellers at Olive Young. I'll see if YesStyle has them available. The Cozyrex ones still work but I just found that these ones are a little bit better. So when I have clusters or breakouts, I'll use all the products that I just talked about to spot treat. If I have really deep or big bumpy cystic acne, I'll go in with this first. And usually for these, you want to apply right after you clean your face. So before you have any more product on your skin, before you apply toner or serums or moisturizer, I go in with this for that area and I find it really works, I'll use it overnight. The other thing that I loved and I have used all of is my star face pimple patches. And these ones I would wear if I have really bad, like big pimples during the day. So I wouldn't walk outside with these on my face, but what I'll do is I'll take this off in the morning and then I'll put a star face one on top because it's cute. After all those things, I'll go in with a moisturizer. I'm still a huge diehard fan of the Sun By Me 30 Day Miracle Cream love this has always i've always gone back to it when i was in my maintenance phase and my skin wasn't doing too horrible i also loved the oh so simple water cream to give my skin a break from all of these different ingredients i also found that for a little bit my skin got used to this so it was nice to take a break i love crave beauty i met leah Yu, the owner a few months ago and she's so sweet and i trust that she makes really good products i recommend this but now that my acne is back and flaring up, I use this every single day, morning and night. Let's also talk about sunscreen. I'm still using the same one I recommended in my past skincare videos, the Biore UV Aqua Essence. You need to get this formula specifically. The newer ones leave a white cast and are completely different. There is a hint of alcohol in this one though. So if you don't want that, I also like the Isentree Hyaluronic Sun Gel. It has a really similar consistency to this one, or the Beauty of Joseon Sun Relief is also really good. You've all heard about that. When I was in Korea, I finally swatched the Round Lab sunscreen, the one that comes in a tube, and I did not like it because the consistency still left a white cast. So that's why I don't really recommend that one. I do, however, like the cushion. So reapplying sunscreen is really important, especially now that we're in the summertime. <laughs> well, I guess all year round, but it's more prevalent in my mind for me when it's sunny out. I'm trying to figure out how to reapply sunscreen to the day. And this has been a really nice way to do it. So this is the cushion version. I just apply. The one thing about this though, is that if you apply a lot, it will leave a bit of a white cast. So I like take my time with it. Last few things I'll recommend are masks and pore strips. I think pore strips for blackheads is really important because I get gunk 
in my nose like no tomorrow and it's just gross so i've been using the starface ones i think most pore strips are similar if you want to use the biore one if you want to use some other ones that i've tried i'll link them down below these are just ones i still have so i use them and they have smiley faces on them but it's so satisfying when you see all the gunk come out masks have also been my lifesaver and it's because they're really calming soothing and i keep them in the fridge so they're cooling these are the sick pair calming serum masks they come in a pack of five i think for dr jart i'll leave them linked I've also seen this in TNT if you want to get them sooner, but they're more expensive if you're in Canada. The other one I really like is the Beauty of Joseon Centella mask. I love Centella. It's an ingredient in a lot of these products and it just helps a lot with calming and soothing redness and acne. I try to use these once a week on like my self-care day. If my acne is really bad, then I'll use it twice a week but usually once or twice a week is good enough. Last but not least, I've been getting really into gua sha and this is the Lanshin one. I don't do this as often when I have active breakouts, but when I was in a maintenance phase, I found this really helped with circulation in my skin, draining my lymphatic fluids around my face but I don't do it as much when I have active acne because I don't want to irritate it. It's not like it's pulling, but that's just like in my mind mentally, it's a blocker. I just liked this brand specifically because they are Asian female owned and founded. And then quickly last two tips. One, wash your pillowcase and change your pillowcase frequently. I try to do it at least once a week, if not more. And then the other tip I mentioned in my last skincare videos is I don't pat my face dry with a towel. I just let it air dry with the water or I just start like applying my products. One thing I did realize though is when I wash my face, there's so much water that ran down my arms that I would still use the towel to pat that dry and then my hands would have touched the towel. So what I've done is I bought these little wristbands so that when you wear them, your hands get wet, but then your arms don't get wet. And that's helped me with that, which I think has made a difference. Seeing people pat dry with a paper towel, I think that's pretty wasteful. Like you don't need, your skin is, craving moisture and hydration anyway. So for me, the water honestly goes into my skin when I apply my toner and the rest of my products. So that's the last thing. You don't need it, but it's helped me and I think they're cute. And that's it. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. I know there was a lot of products that I shared for my entire skincare routine. You don't need to buy all of these products. I, like I said, use some of them in my maintenance phase and a lot of them now because I'm dealing with all this active acne and scarring. Everything will be linked below. Again, none of this is sponsored, but some of my links might be affiliate links. So I really appreciate it if you'd buy through those. If not, that's okay too. But if you're going to buy on places like Amazon, just be sure that they're trusted sellers because I've seen a lot of fake products go around that's the only thing so please buy from trusted sources i know a lot of these products have helped a lot of my other friends and family and people who've used them for my previous skincare videos and that makes me so so happy because acne is just something that i would wish no one had to experience or suffer from it really messes with you mentally it messes with your confidence it messes with the way that you perceive and prioritize like everything in life so if you're going through it just know that it gets better if you're going through it just know that you are beautiful and that your acne does not make you lesser i hope that these products can help you remember that you know products work differently for everybody but these have been what i found helped me the most and Again, these are the photos of my befores and my afters. My skin isn't perfect glass skin now, it takes time. It's been about two or three months. And I think in another few months, it's gonna get back to a really good spot. So I'm really excited about that. And I trust that these products are the ones that are gonna help me get there. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them too. But I love all of you so much. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you later. Bye everyone.